technique I use to uh, communicate with my students is the messaging system from uh, or built into Moodle. You can see I have a message and I've blocked it out up here so that you can't see the student's name. But a matching question, whoops, matching question uh, asking what control D Z does and there's no undo choice. So control Z is the question, undo is the answer. And the student pointed out to me. So there's an error in my test. So I go back to my test and I'm going to fix it. But let me give you a quick rundown of how messages are sent. Uh, I click on the students have been trained hopefully to go to participants click on participants and any teachers that may be in the course for example myself right there is going to come up at the top and then are 246 students below click on the students or on the uh, the person's name that you want to contact and it will because I'm logged in as myself it's not going to give me a a message area but if I was uh, a student, then I'd get the option of messaging me, uh, and it would appear right in here. You say send message to. As it is, I have three messages that I need to respond to. So it's very useful, and uh, it's a very nice way of keeping a tight loop on your feedback. Uh, unfortunately, I have yet to find anything through the administration aspect of being able to track all of the other messages that are sent between students um, easily. This is a uh, this is an important thing in a networked environment to be able to track to see who is sending what information to whom. But again, messaging in Moodle is very powerful and a good way to stay uh, in close contact with students without giving away your email or having your email box fill up with spurious uh, requests for information. Thank you and uh, happy Moodling!